Tech Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. So Datco is uh, a new domain extension. Uh, we launched a year and a half ago. Um, and uh, the, the main reason why we launched is, you know, the web is exploding, as, as we all know that. Uh, there are over 100 million .com domains registered, .net, .org. These are, these are very, very big spaces that, that are sort of overpopulated. And a lot of it is crap. A lot of it is really, you know, uh, it's been taken up by domain squatters and, and that sort of thing. So we re realized there was an opportunity to launch a, a new space, and a new alternative for companies that were coming online. And, and that is, that, that's what .co is. Uh, we, since we launched, we're already at 1.3 million registrations, which is phenomenal growth. Uh, we've got some great companies using it. Four things that are, that are driving our growth. One is that .co stands for company. That's probably the biggest thing. Uh, the two is that it's short, and with the, with the growth of social media, mobile, that's had a huge impact on, on, on us because people want to get short uh, domain names. Third, it's SEO friendly, and we all know the importance of search engines, so that's been good for us. And, and the last, last but not least, it's, it's available. So uh, .com, .net, .org, these are scarce. It's a scarce resource. We are a brand new open space, uh, and so it's available. You can get yours at go.co. The uncertainty, <laughs> waking up every morning and not knowing what the hell is going to happen. Uh, that is what gets us up in the morning. I think the if 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 I had the type of job that I when I walked into the office I knew I had to get on a spreadsheet and do this and this and that and then by the end by the end of the day you know clock out at 5 p.m. Uh, and repeat that same task the next day I would go nuts. So I think walking into the office and not knowing what's going to happen, how we're going to grow that day, who's going to call, what customers are we going to acquire, that's cool. In our, in our case, it's it's gaining massive awareness that, that our product exists. I mean, we're brand new. So I think that's, that's, that's probably a challenge that every single startup experiences, and that's the one we battle on a daily basis. It's, it's getting, and, and, it's, and it's about getting companies to use it so that, so that those companies expose the brand to the world. world. So you just re recently interviewed Taylor.co. You know, that's an example of a company that's using it. It's very cool. They're getting the word out that the .co exists. Uh, Twitter's using t.co. They're getting the word out that that, that, that .co exists. 500 startups. Uh, AngelList on angel.co. These are all great examples, but doing that in a massive scale is very hard. You know, I, th I think the biggest thing for, and, and benefits us is the speed at which people are, are launching companies. So, you know, the startup bus, we, we saw all these people show up here at South by Southwest yesterday. And with all these new ideas, all these new pitches, fortunately, a lot of them on .co, which was kind of cool. But it's just the speed at which they can do it. That is something that I haven't seen ever before. Definitely, it's, it's the interconnectedness of all these different products that you can sort of just connect to each other and, 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 and build a company from one day to the next. I think that wasn't possible before either. You had to build all these little individual pieces um, or you'd have to go out and, and, and pay enormous amounts of money for software, that sort of thing. Now you can grab little pieces from, from multiple different sources and put a company together in one or two days. That's cool.